Hey everybody, Sean Stepinski at the Habacker Corporation. Uh, today I wanted to show you a little bit about running a combustion analysis. This is pretty standard 90 plus furnace. I want to run through some of the numbers we look at from start to finish. You can't just walk around and stick a meter in whenever you feel like it. There's things you need to look at on startup. There's things you need to look at when the blower comes down, uh, shut down, things like that. So I do want to demonstrate that, uh, you know, where to test and what that looks like and what we're looking for. Today we're operating on this 90 plus furnace. We're operating out of Choice Air in their training room. They were nice enough to let us use it. So Choice Air being one of our BFAD dealers in the Summit County area, great people, great company, great employees. And uh, we appreciate them letting us uh, use our training facility. The meter that I'm using here today is a Testo 300. I do want to show you a couple things on the meter. Uh, the first thing on the meter at the top here is see where it's marked COAF. That means CO air free. That's the CO we're looking for inside of a flue pipe. The other stuff we're looking for down here is you'll see the O2 level or the atmosphere at 20.9. Uh, we're going to be keeping an eye on that stack temperature and so but mostly we're going to be looking at o2 and co af all right we're going to start the furnace up and then i'm going to show you what we're looking for the first thing we're going to look for is what is our spike in co air free you know it doesn't matter why well, it does matter but uh you want to make sure that your co doesn't go off the chart and then come back to normal so we are looking for spikes and back down it's going to go up we want to make sure it goes down to a normal level, below 100, something like that. But we don't want it going up to two or 3,000 and coming back down. That would indicate something like the light ignition. So that's the first number we're going to look for. Then we're going to look at oxygen. We're going to look at what does it stabilize out to. And then we want to make sure it doesn't change when the blower comes on. If the oxygen is at 7% and the blower comes on and it jumps up to 12, 13, 14, something like that with a big difference, you know, you're, you're pushing air with the blower into the heat exchanger somehow. Could be a gasket, could be a crack in a primary. You know, I don't know, but, but those are the things we're looking for. And then we want to look to make sure everything is stable and normal. Then we want to watch it on shutdown to make sure the CO, again, doesn't spike something crazy because that could indicate a leaky valve. So there's lots of stuff that you want to look for throughout a cycle. So I'm going to start this first up. Over here on the meter, uh, the first one we're gonna be looking at is this CO Air Free. Inducer motor is on. Waiting on the igniter. Igniter is on, about 14 seconds, and we're going to light the burners. Here we go. Burners are on. Wait to see what that comes out to. So we spiked at 500. That's a good number. Anytime, what I tell people is, you know, about 400 is a cutoff if you're operating in 400. But if you don't want to be double that or triple that, you know, on startup. Right now we're still looking at a pretty high number, so hopefully that comes back down a little bit. We're gonna move down here a little bit to the O2 at 9.3 is a pretty good number. We wanna look at the O2 before the blower comes on. It's something you wanna keep an eye on. So I wanna see how that stabilizes out, and I wanna see if it changes when the blower comes on. Right now we're running CO Air Free at 150. The blower motor just came on. We're staying about six, seven percent O2. No big spike in O2. If there's a hole or something in that primary heat exchanger, when the blower comes on, it pushes air in there and it jumps up dramatically. So now we're gonna let this thing stabilize out a little bit and keep an eye on it. Right now we're running about 60 parts per million CO air free in the flu, good number. We're running about 8% O2. We got the burners on and the blowers on. Traditionally, if I was doing this, you know, I would let this run for a period of time and keep an eye and see how it stabilizes out. Uh, I think that's a pretty good number we're looking at right now. Under 50 parts per million, 8% O2, so anywhere between six and nine is a pretty good number. The other thing you wanna watch on O2 is that that number is not dropping. If it's at 8% right now and it drops to seven, drops to six, drops to five, drops to four, that indicates that something's going on. More likely than not, the secondary is probably not draining and filling up with water. So you can learn something about the secondary watching this just as well as far as drainage goes. Right now we seem to be very stable. 8% O2, 
20 uh, parts per million CO air free. Looks like good numbers. If I come down here, I look at stack temperatures, efficiency running at 96.3. Let me just say this. Efficiency that you see on this meter is not the same thing as a few that's on the tag of the unit. Those don't match up. An a few tag is a seasonal number taking into consideration on times, off times, things like that. This efficiency is how well you utilize the fuel. So it's two different numbers. Don't look to try to match those up. Sometimes they match up, makes you feel good, but it doesn't really change anything. As I come down here, uh, stack temperatures, everything looks pretty good to me. Right now we are running really consistent. 13, 14, 15% CO, air free, and about 8% O2. Those are good numbers. I'm gonna shut this thing down and now we're gonna watch, as it shuts down, we're gonna watch how high does this CO air free go up. So give me a second here, we're gonna shut it down. So now we're gonna keep an eye on this. Watch this CO air free. See if we get a big spike there or not. It's coming up. It's a pretty good number. Sometimes you can get numbers that shoot up into the thousands, and that kind of tells you the valve is leaking fuel when you see something like that. We're gonna wait here, and the blower will shut off on its off delay. Uh, I don't know what that's set at, and it doesn't matter at this point, but let that be an example of how you test two feet away from the outlet of the inducer. You're really looking for CO air free on startup. You're looking to see what it stabilizes at. You're looking at the O2. What is it at and does it really make a big jump when the blower comes on? Then you're gonna watch the cycle, make sure everything kind of evens out. I would say O2 as a rule of thumb on a residential furnace, probably between 6% and 9%. Keep your CO air free under 100. Uh, as you can see here, you can easily run under 50, which is you know a great number. You know I keep an eye on stack temperatures to make sure they don't go out of control. The efficiency is the fuel efficiency, how you use it not the AFU. Uh, don't get those two confused. And with that, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Tune in to some more videos.